Hi, this is Julie from Moreware. Welcome to Pricing Your Quote. Log into your CounterGo database, start a new quote, or open an existing one. Click on Step 5 and be sure you have a product, color, and edge selected. If you haven't made these selections, you won't be able to edit in Step 6. CounterGo allows you to save all your pricing in price lists, but you can start quoting before you get those set up. Let's manually enter prices into this quote. Move to Step 6. There's a lot of red text indicating missing prices. Click on any underlined text to make changes. I'll click on No Price Available to manually enter a price. If you make a mistake or need to modify a price you entered, click on the underlined black text to update it. If there are line items that you don't charge for, enter zero. If you don't enter zero, CounterGo won't be able to total your quote, resulting in a warning that there are prices missing. There may be items you charge for that aren't listed. Let's add a one-time miscellaneous item to get one of those into the quote. To the right of the area name, you'll see the Add icon. Click on the drop-down menu and select Add Miscellaneous Item. This will add an item to this quote only. It won't add it to the price list. You'll be able to add miscellaneous items into your price list later. Enter the name in the description field, the quantity, price, and which area to display the item. If you select one of the areas already listed in your quote, the line item will show up with the other ones in that section. If you select None, this line item will be listed separately with its own heading, Other Items. Let's talk about these checkboxes. Check the first one if you want to include the line item in the price, but hide it on the quote when it's printed or emailed to the customer. The second option will allow for this item to be discounted if one's applied. And the third is where you designate if the item is taxable. This quote is looking good. Let's add a tax rate. At the top of the quote is a price settings area. To the right is one of those handy edit icons. Click on it to edit the price settings. From the drop down menu for tax rate, select new tax rate, enter a name and a percent. The discount field is where you can apply a discount to this quote when using your price list. Anytime you manually enter or edit prices in step six, discounts are not applied. Enter 10 to apply a 10% discount to any items eligible for a discount. To the right of each line item that's taxable, there's a letter T indicating tax was applied. Click on the T to see the details. When discounts are applied, the letter D will appear by the line item indicating a discount has been applied. Click on it to view the details. There are lots of places to find help as you're working, including here in the drawing steps. From the top menu, click on Help, then Search Help to open our online help center in a new window. That covers the details of step six. The next video, Quote and Order Forms, will go through customizing your Quote and Order Form templates. If you have any questions or would like to set up a quick call with one of our friendly CounterGo experts, email support at moreaware.com. Happy quoting!